Hey guys, make sure to stay until the end. We want to share one good advice with you. That way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere and you don't end up spending thousands of dollars in future repairs. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Ford Edge, this generation right here from year 2010 to year 2014. If you need to find where the O2 oxygen sensor heater fuses are located, also known as O2 uh, sensor heater or oxygen sensor heater fuses, stay with us. We'll explain where you can find them on this generation Ford Edge, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, realize at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Well guys, it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure it's stay until the end. Before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage guys, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them completely apart on our YouTube channels. We show you how to fix transmissions, engine codes. This channel specifically will be for fuses guys. And we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Now, if you need help with anything, if you're in the middle of nowhere guys and you need to find, let's say, the fuse on that forage for a fuel pump, for anti-theft system, alarm system, ignition codes, fuel injectors, anything like that, all you have to do, find the video on our channel, watch it in less than a minute or two, you're back on the road, guys. So that's why we make these videos to save you as much money and time as we can. So for the oxygen sensor heater fuses, guys, where you can find them also known as O2 sensor heater fuses, we will demonstrate on this forward edge here, but quick, uh, quick guys advice, most people that own that forward edge do not know about all the hidden fuse boxes in it, uh, fuse locations and stuff like that. That's why we made a special video on our YouTube channel about fuse box location on forward edge. Check it out for your convenience. For the oxygen sensor heater, guys, we need to open the hood and once you open the hood, uh, facing the engine now on the driver's side here you see you have a fuse box guys okay so what you need to do press these two tabs you'll be able to open the cover and once you do that you're going to find a fuse box with a layout like this one here before we continue let's explain quickly guys why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays so let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so guys multiple fuses will need to be checked then we even need to check some in other fuse box make sure it's stand till the end um, guys if you have a v6 engine you will have bank one and bank two because you have two cylinder heads if you want to know which side is bank one bank two we have videos on our youtube channels that will teach you that if you want to see how to test oxygen sensor how to test oxygen sensor heater or how to test upstream oxygen sensor or downstream oxygen sensor we have videos on the channel that will guys teach you how to do that but now here if we come, what we need to guys check, multiple fuses, there is very limited information, please make sure to stay until the end, we want to share one good advice, that way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us. You need to check all these fuses because they are for engine management, okay, uh, and the fuses guys that we are talking about are fuse number 67, 68, 69, 70. These fuses right here will need to be checked, then you need to check fuse number 90, which is that fuse here, and then you need to check fuse number 86, that fuse right there. After that guys, you need to open the driver door, and here, under the dash on the driver's side, look under the dash, that's the footwell compartment, that's the parking brake paddle, hood open lever, behind it you have a, f a cover, remove it, and you're going to find a fuse box with a layout like this one here, and here you need to check fuse number 18, that fuse right here, that's the one guys that you will need to check as well for the oxygen sensors on Ford Edge. 
So guys, this generation Ford Edge has all kind of different fuses and relays. Fuses and relays that could be really hard to find, especially if you live in a small town, if you're in the middle of nowhere. One time we needed a replacement fuse, we couldn't get one and as a result we were stuck there for a few days until shipment came. So we we'll recommend to keep some of those spare ones in the glove box for a peace of mind so that thing doesn't happen with you. We'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get it from. Hopefully the video will be helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.